All right, people, welcome back to a card review. So today we're looking at another Normal Pendulum card. So, of course, you guys know that Normal Pendulum is on Daily Duels. So I might as well just go ahead and look at another card that may be viable in the deck. So this is the... What's the... I forgot what it's called. Like the guaranteed card that you get... The, the promo card, the promo, no, is it the promo card? I don't know. The, the card that you get in every single sneak peek of uh, Crossover Souls, pretty much. Or Cross Souls, whatever the hell they're calling it. So you're going to, everybody's going to get one of these. And so, of course, another Normal Pendulum that did the same thing uh, with the last Normal Pendulum monster. The, I can't remember that. I should really do some research before I do these damn videos. I just hop right into it. Don't even do any damn video uh, review or research, and I can't. Even think what the thing is called. The 1800 Beast Warrior Normal Pendulum guy, I forgot his name. Something Draconia, because this card is also Draconia, so it seems like this Draconia is like its own little archetype of just normal pendulums, you know? So let's go ahead and look at this card and see whether it is worth it to run in, non in the normal pendulum deck. Alright, so this is Sea Dragoons of Draconia. It's a Water Sea Serpent Pendulum, level 3, scale of 7, 200 attack, 2100 defense. Okay, so. You probably won't be attacking anybody with this, but, uh, you know, nice booty, and, you know, it's another scale 7, so that's not terrible. So, its pendulum effect, since it doesn't have a monster effect, is when a monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one normal monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Sea Dragoons of Draconia once per turn. So, at first, I was like, what's the point of this? You know, if... In normal pendulums, and I'm specifically putting this in normal pendulums, because this, is, this is, would be the deck that you play this card in. In normal pendulums, if I could already, you know, destroy your monster and summon a normal monster from my hand, then that probably means that I can already pendulum summon. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that I don't have my pendulum scale set up. That I just have this, but I don't have the other scale. I summon a monster, destroy my opponent's monster, and then I summon one of my normal pendulums from my hand that I guess I couldn't pendulum summon. Alright, so if you could pendulum summon, this card's not useful because... You can special summon monster out of your hand, but you could probably probably special summon the normal monster from your hand through that pendulum summon, so there's really no point. But if you don't have your scale set up, then I can see how this could be useful. Because if you don't have your scale set up, this will at least allow you to go, alright, put this card in my pendulum I don't pendulum scale, I don't have the other one, summon a monster, attack, summon my normal monster from my hand that I couldn't, you know, pendulum summon because I didn't have my scale set up. So, uh, the, the thing with this card is when you read it carefully, when a monster is destroyed by battle, period, when a monster is destroyed by battle. So that means that it goes for your monsters too. So if your opponent, you know, attacks over your monster, it's destroyed. You can go ahead and summon a normal monster from your hand, which may prevent you from losing the duel or getting OTK'd. So it goes for either your opponent's monster or your monster. So let's say you have a you know, normal pendulum monster on your, on your field, your opponent attacks you, and you're like, all right, well, during the damage step, I'm going to lance you. You're destroyed. I get to summon a normal monster from my hand. So overall, it's okay. I mean... It's another scale, and there's another, no complaints about that. But it, you know, compared to uh, the other Draconia, I think it was just Dragoons or Draconia, if I remember correctly. So I guess this is Seagirt Dragoons. But if I remember correctly, you know, that one got me a search every time. You know, I show opponent's monster, I destroy the opponent's monster. I got to search. You know, I got to plus this. This is just something from hand to field. That's not really plusing. It's not really doing much. So with the Pendulum scale, not worth, not good, not worth it, not worth it. Without the pendulum, you know, without the scale setup, I could see how it could be useful. But, you know, you know, offensively, meh. Defensively, okay, I see it. I see it. You know, because like I said, if I have a weak monster and you destroy it by battle, then I get to go ahead and summon one of my no my stronger normal monsters from my hand, despite my scale not being set up. So, uh, will I run it? That's questionable. I I'd have to look at the deck again, but probably, probably. Because not more normal pendulums, there's nothing wrong with having more normal pendulums in the normal pendulum deck. You know, I just wish that this guy had some attack instead of some D, because I generally like the ones that have more attack, so I can, you know, attack you and try to push your game and OTK with normal pendulums instead of just, you know, being on the defensive. You know, because normal pendulums' defense is they go back to extra deck and they'll come back. That's their defense, so it's better to go on the offense with them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode of Card Reviews. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Sea Dragoons and Draconia in the comment section below. And whether you think it should be ran in normal pendulum decks. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more card review. Alright people, thanks for watching.